Give it up for Brent. How's everybody doing tonight? Good? So I left my harmonica at home. Sorry about that one. Um, in my bad so I couldn't fit in my bicycle. So cops always pull me over for that one. Profiling. What can do. There's a few cops out here in San Cineas that I really don't like. Uh, I get profiled all the time. This is not a joke, this is real life. I thought as a white guy I'd get off sky free scot free, like running stoplights, running stop signs. But it turns out if you don't have a pair of boots, you don't get away with as much stuff. So maybe if I gain enough weight for the ice cream and Snicker bars I've been eating at night watching TV, the cops will look the other way. So at least I'm hoping for that one. Um, I used to live in LA, and there I was an accountant. And it turns out that you have to really be on good terms with your clients. I had worked um, actually with an animal trainer who had a famous elephant. It was in the movie Operation Dumbo Drop, and it was also in the um, live action Jungle Book. Anybody seen those films? There's 90s films, probably too, too old for this generation. Oh, the cartoon one? No, um, the Jungle Book was the live action one. With oh. the, the handsome actor who played. Anyway, anyways, um, so there's the famous elephant in that. And I actually got sued and fired because I liquidated his assets. He said I depleted his whole account. All I did is turn all the peanuts into peanut butter. So what can you do? And they never forget about these things. Um, I was the only kid in 1988 who got kicked out of the Burger King Kids Club. No one? Okay. <laughs> Usually that button works with old ladies, so go figure. Um, let's see, what's another good one? Oh, um, I was a Boy Scout in the mid-1980s. I'm 33 years old. So um, in the mid-1980s, I got a few badges, but you know, with Girl Scouts, they get all the cookie, you know, they get to sell the cookies. Guys don't have to do as much, but if you're not good at canoeing or surfing or arm wrestling, whatever badge they give you, you're kind of like, you know, just going through the motions. So what I ended up doing was, um, I wanted to get this badge really bad, but they just gave it to me this last year at age 33. Uh, it was for best pickup artist. So, all the girls in the sixth grade really were glad I never got that badge. They would lock themselves in the closet when it was like doing six minutes of having parties. I just sat on the sofa the whole time, so I waited out. I got to beat Super Mario Brothers that way too. So, uh, it had three hours to kill until my parents picked me up, anyways. So, uh, but they gave it to me this year, so I'm glad with that. Um, so, what else? Oh, depression is the worst feeling in the world. I don't know if anybody ever had depression here ever. Okay, you yes, sir, thank you. Uh, so, the worst feeling in the world, especially when you look in the mirror and you get really depressed about the way you look, and you're like, God damn, I am so handsome, and this is not something that's ever gonna go away from me, no matter how I age, no matter, even if I don't be sunblock or gain weight, these looks are never gonna fade, so the beauty is like really painful sometimes. So, mirror, mirror on the wall, I do that all the time. And I have to take medication to control the depression of being so beautiful. I guess that one didn't work. Um, See, so in real life, I go to downtown San Diego. Anybody here ever go to downtown San Diego, leave Anceditas? Leave the safety zone? Okay, not really? On the sheriff's bus. On, on the what? On the sheriff's bus. On uh, sheriff's bus. <laughs> I haven't been on that one luckily yet. Uh, but uh, uh, downtown San Diego, they have all the beautiful hostesses out there dressed in um, nightclub outfits who work, um, work there at night trying to call you in, cat call you in to come to eat at the restaurants and the bars. And they often tell me that I'm a real handsome guy, they want to meet me. And I come home here to Anceditas and say, hey mom, dad, guess what? This beautiful girl, you know, gorgeous looking girl was telling me she wanted to know my name, where I'm from. And th then they're like, can we put you in a mental hospital? Do we do that bad of a job raising you? Are you that delusional? Do you think these girls actually like you? Brent, don't you know by now that they're just doing that as a game? That they just sit out there, they're standing out there in, in the patio like this, calling every guy that walks by, not just you. But, I don't know, I believed it. And I did get their number, um, but it turned out it was for Sprint Wireless, so I guess it wasn't exactly the right number, but I did get a number just the same. So you can't, you can't knock that. Um, let's see what else I can talk about. I'm a little nervous because I'm kind of being like judged right now, so to whether I can have an open mic here or not. Um, I got some kids jokes. Anybody have kids in the audience? Or are the kids all gone? Okay. You guys are kids? Okay. Uh, why did the tomato beat the crap out of the apple and the pineapple? Why? Because they accused him of being a fruit. Why? Let's see, what else? Uh, what is Pinocchio's favorite snack? 
wood chips. Yeah. I made these ones up, everything up here. I don't steal jokes, so don't worry about that. Um, some people do, but I'm, that's not my thing. Um, I was at an art gallery show in La Jolla. Anybody ever go to the art gallery shows in downtown La Jolla by the beach? The dark, no? Okay. Anyway, so I was there. Uh, it's kind of hard to do crowd work, but lead in a joke no one knows what the hell I'm talking about. It's like, who here likes the Padres, what? Um, uh, so I was at the art gallery show in La Jolla, and there's a gorgeous girl working there. They often hire very beautiful women to make the old dorky men who have lots of money to spend feel good about themselves to buy a painting they have known nothing about because they know they like the way the girl looks, but they don't know what, anything about the painting, so they drop 30000 on them. Basically an investment in how hot the chick is. So I was talking to one of those gallery girls at the art gallery, and uh, she told me to get lost. And then suddenly I realized I didn't know where I was or how to get home. Okay, that one works. Thanks, guys. Okay, um, I go to Comic Con every year. Anybody here been to Comic Con before? All right, thank you, sir. Anybody else? No? Okay. So, Comic Con's changed it a lot in the last uh, five, ten years. It used to be about, well, I didn't do the Warhammer 40,000 or Dungeons and Dragons stuff, but I did like all those, you know, guest speakers. Um, well, when I say it changed, I it mean it's more like the auto show or the sports convention where you're just looking at girls in mini skirts or cheerleader outfits or. Um, I don't know what outfits are good expensive. Like basically they watch babe outfits at Comic Con, even though there's no pool or no beach. And so it went from about fantasy art about dragons and dinosaurs and things like that to just how short the skirt can be on the girl. And so things have really changed, but as I grew older, that became something that kind of I'm not complaining about. The only complaint I have is that people have told me that when you ask out a girl and they say yes, they'll go out with you at Comic Con, and then you show up at their booth the next day and then they tell you to get, go, get lost or go away, and it turns out that's not their Vietnamese name. It's just, uh, it's just they're telling you to get lost. It's kind of like, well, then why is she wearing a French maid outfit? But people have explained to me, Brent, just because someone's in a French maid outfit at Comic Con doesn't mean she wants to be your girlfriend. But to me, that's kind of like false advertising. So I, I don't know. Um, I guess that one didn't really work that well. With young guys, it works real much better. Especially young guys that are comics that don't know anything about how to talk to girls. So I guess you guys are much better at that. Um, Exposing myself a little bit here. Um, at Cal State Long Beach, where I'm from, uh, I grew up here in Encinitas, so but I've been in Long Beach the last few years. At Cal State Long Beach, yeah, thanks for smiling, guys, I appreciate it. At uh, Cal State Long Beach, there's some real beautiful girls in the foreign exchange program where they're international students. And so I heard this one girl speaking some kind of European language. And she would just look almost like Sophia Loren, but Brazilian. Like had that Brazilian tan, but the famous actress Sophia Loren, the Italian actress. And so I ran up to her and I said, introduced myself, hi, I'm Brent, I'm the teaching credential program. Where are you from? And she said, no way. And I said, Norway? And she said, no way. So th that's, that's an interesting thing. You know, Cal State Long Beach. Okay, um, and also another girl I knew in the dorms at Cal State Long Beach that was, I was actually 31 when I was in the dorms because I was the only way I could afford to be my first year in the teaching credential program at Cal State Long Beach because I wasn't going to commute from here from Village Park. Um, but. One girl was phenomenally beautiful, and she knew I had a crush on her. And then I saw her my junior year, just this, this last year, and she walked up to me and said, I love you. And I was like, whoa, I've waited like three years to hear that. I've tried talking all the time, had such a huge crush. And then she said, yeah, I'd love for you to move to Alaska. So, I don't think she was gonna give me her number. So, um, not that time. Let's see, um, are there, did anybody see the sign in the bathroom? Don't steal the toilet paper, please or respect trees and don't use paper towels. They had to chase someone down the street last week, use five paper towels and walk out with two rolls of toilet paper. Cops are called, so I'm just warning you guys ahead of time, if that becomes an issue here, I will report you to the staff at the front. So please be respectful of East Street Cafe, thank you. Um, I actually like, for a magazine, I actually collect Miniature Horse World. This is not one of my, this is not just a character on stage, this is something in real life. I actually like Miniature Horses and I do horseback riding. Anybody here ever done horseback riding Yosemite, Lake Tahoe, or on their own? Yes, sir, okay, you're, you're my fan now, okay, cool. Uh, like, I recommend, I, I love horses, I've been doing horseback riding for the last two, two years, western riding, I'm actually getting pretty good. This is both uh, making live myself, but this is not a knock-knock joke, I actually do this. And I've actually tried, again, with girls at Comic-Con wearing the French made outfits, tried the ones who said they would go on a date with me, but then kind of had security tell me it's time to move on when you get to the booth. If you, give them, if you apologize and give them the Mitchell Horse World magazines as a gift, saying, sorry, I blew it with you last year, I didn't know that you, didn't, you thought I was cross-eyed. It turns out I wasn't, but. Um, 
they, they just left it to be thrown out in the trash. So to me, a miniature horse world magazine is not something that should be thrown in the trash, but to some pretty, very pretty girls, it is. So I mean, to each his own. Uh, but I, I've been collecting that. My dream is to own a miniature horse, and that's usually not the first thing when I'm flirting for a girl on Facebook who's been in a rap video or kid rock video in the Baywatch outfits that they want to hear about is miniature horses. Usually they want to hear your credits of if you're famous or not. If you're not famous, they pretty much tell you to move on or block or leave you. Or tell, or they actually, well, the real life thing, they tell you to buy the bikini on the counter. So that, that's, that's pretty much saying, hand me your credit card and just zip your lip and just get the transaction over. I don't want to meet you at the movies or Moonlight Beach, which I've offered to them before. And didn't really, didn't, you know, the girls in Kid Rock videos or in Snoop Dogg videos really don't want to go to Moonlight Beach. So go figure, false advertising. Okay, uh, let's see, I'll leave you a few more here if I got any more. Um, Comic Con, okay, the Norway one worked. We can't do that one. Um, counted, the, the elephant one was so so, depression one was so so. I think I pretty much wrapped, I think I should just wrap it up with something good, but I have to keep it clean. So I'll, I'll leave it one last joke, let's see. Um, oh, this is something real life. Uh, guess what I had to do for my last session of my karate class at Cal State Long Beach? Was it katas, was it fist, was it um, uh, fist defense blocking with another student? No, it was a written test. So, go figure. All right, thanks guys, it's breaking. Thanks again, Brad Goodman.